Hi, David Rapesky here, and today I want to talk about Divi 3.0 and some of the problems that you may be experiencing with it. Um, first of all, let me say Divi 3.0 is amazing. Everybody that's downloaded it, um, I've heard all over the internet that people love it. Um, it's really making some moves in the theme market itself, and uh, Divi 3.0 has a lot of, of high points to it. Um, one of the one of the issues that people commonly complain about with Divi, and I'll pull up a live version of my site that I'm building so that you can see. A lot of people complain about the featured image slider, though. Um, if you deal with an edge-to-edge -edge image, uh, a full-width slider, um, you're going to be dealing with a picture that's like maybe 900 to 1,000. Uh, pixels wide or so, um, and that's going to create a very tall, a very deep picture that has a lot of height. And if you try to put that kind of a picture um, at the at the resolution that you want into the featured image slider, you're going to really not have much of an image to work with. Um, as you can see, these guys' heads are cut off, and we don't really get a full sense of the picture. Well, how do we fix that? Well, the easiest way to fix that is by um, grabbing code uh, from the internet. Um, best place to go for that is uh, Divi Booster, which is here, uh, and then uh, pasting that into a child theme. We've already set one up, so we'll take a look at that. It's basically a blank style sheet here, uh, and we can go to Divi Booster's code, grab it, and just uh, paste here, um, and then we can update our file, and um, we'll see in a second that the problem is kind of fixed. So we've we've increased the size, uh, the width of the slider. And as you can see, we can now see a little bit more definition. But if I want to see the whole picture, um, especially on responsive, like if, I, if I'm looking at this on a mobile device, um, Divi Booster's code is, is okay. I mean, it, it's just not going to be adequate. We've got to make some tweaks. Well, um, I've gone ahead and um, add and tweaked Divi Booster's code a little bit to make it more mobile responsive. And I'm going to share my modifications to the good work that they've already done with you. Um, and I've published it here at uh, imaginaryrestaurant.com uh, forward slash mobile uh, hyphen design hyphen blog. Um, if you just go to imaginaryrestaurant.com, scroll all the way down on the menu to uh, knowledge base and click on it. It's going to show you the updates, the updated code that I have here. Um, anyone is welcome to just copy the whole thing and uh, use it. Um, also, what's uh, what's what's interesting too is in Divi 3.0, they've changed some of the class names, um, and uh, they've they've really added a couple of stuff. Like for example. I think they added uh, ETPB active slide as a class, which actually controls what happens with the image itself. And you can add um, responsive, uh, you know, basic responsive coding there to get the image itself to resize. So you're never going to have to worry about the image getting cut off or, you know, it displaying great on desktop but not so hot on mobile. And um, Let's uh, let's grab this code and I'll demonstrate what what it can do. So if we grab it here, if we grab it and then copy it, go back to our site. Go back to our child theme. Uh, 
and then update what we've got. Hit update file. Um, you'll see that I've done a couple of things. Um, I just wanted to make sure that at all, you know, at all costs, the whole picture would be shown. Um, and as we get smaller, the image, the image sizes um, reduce uh, considerably. But we're we're always going to have that full image, and nobody's ever going to get cut off. Um, and so it is a little bit more mobile responsive. Um, but the end result is, you know, it's just a it's just a free customization. Um, there's no risk to using this as long as you use it in a child theme. Um, if you actually paste this to your to your um, to your core files, um, you you do run the risk of losing it when you update, and you also run the risk of it interfering with uh, some of the code that's already there. So um, again, to get this updated code, you just go to imaginaryrestaurant.com and then go all the way down to knowledge base and you'll be able to see it. It's the first article up top and then you just uh, copy and paste away. Um, again, enjoy Divi 3.0 and um, happy blogging.